there were ever a year to bring people together instead of division, it was this year. So it was good, good on them, yes. you know? Great costume for Dragon Con, because not only is there a mask, but it has an amplified microphone in it. Everyone, welcome to Pal to Tech. I just got back from Dragon Con. I don't even know how to explain what Dragon Con is, but think of it as the world's largest costume party would probably be the best way to describe it. And I thought it would be an awesome video for me to go over exactly what gear I brought, why I brought it, and whether or not it worked for me. Shooting photos and videos at Dragon Con is unlike any other photo shoot that you can imagine. Things move really quickly, and you can't have the normal setups you would get in a studio or a controlled environment or a regular photo shoot. It is crazy. So the very first thing I did, which was a bit different, I did not bring a photo gear bag. Instead, I brought a backpack type, you know, wilderness bag from North face called the surge and the reason why was the location of the pockets and the fact that I needed to carry everything in it not just my camera gear so let me show you what I brought and why I brought it this gimbal right here that I brought that I strapped to the side it's for a smartphone I didn't use it at all I really didn't use my smartphone much I was using other gear so didn't ever once pull this out this is a great gimbal I just didn't use it I never travel without my laptop computer, so that's what's in here, along with chargers and an external drive and that kind of stuff. All of my computer editing type gear fits nicely in this bag, which goes right into the back of this. It has a special pouch, perfect, convenient. I can pull it out and it's my little editing station. Speaking of editing, I brought headphones, right? They collapse up, so I guess you could say they're compact, but I don't like using AirPods and things like that for editing. I like real headphones headphones, so I brought a pair and I used them. Next, I needed a place for all of the batteries, chargers, you know, those type of things. And I have these two packs right here from Think Tank. They're clear and you can see what's inside of them. Do you need Think Tank bags for this kind of thing? No, you don't. As long as you have separate bags that are compartmentalized, like this is a bag only for batteries and chargers. That's it. So you can even use a one quart Ziploc bag as long as you write on it and only use it for that you're gonna be a lot more organized. Inside the other one is nothing but cords and wires. <laughs> That's it, cables. I mean, USB-C, USB-B, b b b b b b And inside the charger one, you've also got a few additional items that I used I wanna talk about. Fujifilm battery charger, very important. I'll get to the cameras in a second. Two extra batteries, some more power items. So I thought I was gonna be doing a lot of vlogging while I was there, but it turns out I didn't do any. However, I brought this Tentacle Sync lav mic for one reason only. It records in 32-bit float audio, which means that that type of audio file doesn't get clipped. In other words, you don't have to worry about somebody coming up to you in the hotel shouting and that clipping the audio. It can handle things. It's perfect for being on the go at a place like Dragon Con. Next, I brought some cleaning supplies a little blower, some cleaning fluid, and I just drop it in a simple Ziploc bag, nothing fancy. Okay, so when shooting Dragon Con, you need to have a variety of focal lengths. You need to be able to get real wide when you're indoors, but when you're outside, or even sometimes when you're indoors, you need to be able to have a long focal length so you can zoom in and catch people and get great candid shots. I wanted to bring with me the 16 to 55 millimeter lens. This lens is broken. 
Lincoln. If you don't know about that story, go look at my little community post in YouTube on it, and it'll explain about that. So because I couldn't take my 16 to 55, I brought the 18 to 55. I would have preferred the 16, but you know what? The 18 to 55, I love this lens, and it is a great video lens. Next, I needed wide angle, so I brought the 10 to 24. Wonderful lens again, and the fact that it has built-in lens stabilization also makes it practical for video. I haven't talked much about the 10 to 24 on this channel, and I think it's time that we talk about it a little bit more but in another video. And for each lens, I used one of these lens protecting bags, these padded bags, put the lens in here, put this in the bag, and all was well. And lastly, I brought the 50 to 140 millimeter. Oh, this was so wonderful to be out in the street because with a lens like this, you can really capture cosplayers and convention attendees doing things that they wouldn't do in pose necessarily, and I love it. So then I had this low pro basic generic bag that clips onto a belt and I put my my X-T4 inside of that. Probably could have protected it a little bit better because it doesn't have padding, but I didn't run into any problems because this backpack has padding as well in one of the pockets. And the reason I brought the X-T4, one word. Ibis. <laughs> Actually, that's four words, but Ibis. I also brought one of these little filter carry packs. I needed to bring ND filters for video. If you don't understand why I needed ND filters for video, watch one of my videos on the topic, but that's what's in here. I also brought this little clip-on ND filter holder where you screw an ND filter on here, and then you can shoot video with your phone, and you can use the correct frame rate and not have to worry about overexposing your shots. Now, once I got to Dragon Con, I pretty much put the main bag in the hotel room, right? And then from there, I walked around using this belt right here which basically has places that you can clip and hang all of these various items. So this would just go around my waist just like this. And of course I'd carry my smart cards with me. I'd throw those right in here. So I had every lens with me ready to grab at a moment's notice. And I brought this little strap as well that I could then put around my neck, attach the camera onto it just like this. And I'm ready to go. Now, a lot of the shooting that I was doing was inside dark hotels or bar areas where there, there simply wasn't a lot of light. So I had a video light. I had sort of an okay photo light, but I would have preferred obviously bringing one of the Godox units, but I just didn't want to strap on another piece of gear. And I didn't want to blow out portions of the costumes that were lit up from, you know, the LED lights and things like that. And I think overall it worked out pretty well. And what I also also did for a lot of my shots was I would attach the little Andesini mount to the GoPro or I would attach it to this light whichever depending upon which one I needed and then I would put it on the front of the camera just like this and I had the GoPro set up so when I pressed the button once it would immediately start recording in the exact specs that I had it set in it worked perfectly so what I had and what I was able to do under very tight corners rushing around if I wanted to get video but also still photos this worked out wonderfully. I would recommend it to anybody. And I brought two other cameras. The first, a Canon G7X. I would put this in various locations and just get B-roll. I would just let it roll. I didn't end up using it as much as I wanted to, but my kids did. And they love taking this around and photographing the cosplayers and learning photography. So yeah, I'm really glad I brought this. And it went in that big bag as well. I am so glad that I brought a GoPro. And for one reason and one reason only. You see the difference was I didn't just go to photograph Dragon Con, I was in Dragon Con. <laughs> and that's the difference. And because of that, I wanted to get video and be able to capture video from my perspective. I was actually in the parade. And I and let me tell you something, when you have this thing on and it's totally strapped on you, you can't carry this thing around, are you kidding me? Or strap a 50 to 140 lens while you're walking. First of all, the parade route is over a mile long, okay? That's number one. Number two is that it's really hot outside. Now this helmet has fans inside that my wife built and it's wonderful because you turn on the fans and it cools you, but still, when you're walking down there, you can see through these things and suddenly you'll see this little boy or this little girl and they're just kind of looking 
and you can walk right up to them and high five them and it's just the most wonderful feeling in the world. Shooting an event like Dragon Con or any cosplay event or frankly shooting anything, you're either documenting it or you are a participant in it. And I had the perspective this time around of doing both. What I enjoyed the most about it wasn't shooting the photos, it wasn't the videos, it wasn't even being in the parade or doing all of the crazy stuff there. My son and I went out and I gave him the Canon and he shot some photos and just being there to see him do that and to set up those shots was one of the highlights for me. And my daughter and I went and shot Lord of the Rings photo shoot and she also used this camera and watching her take photos just meant the world to me. So I'm very happy with how it turned out and I am now coming back to reality, so. Well, I hope you found the video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. I am going to be signing off now. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see all of you in a new video next week. Take care. So wait, before you go, we have a world record here. The world's longest, uncut, uninterrupted video footage of T-Rex dinosaurs going down a hotel lobby escalator. <laughs>